multiple rounds shot off here, enough to break six panels of glass in the doors. And this morning, you can still see the bullet holes marked on the front of the doorway. The damage here is astounding. So much cleanup has been done, but there is still so much left to do here. This is the second house that is caught on fire here this morning, and it just keeps spreading from the roof down into the second floor. Did sustain damage back in Hurricane Charlie, and they rebuilt it to make sure it could happen. So they're calling us inside right now. We're coming inside. We can't yeah. we can't okay. be outside Go anymore inside. because they're closing the doors right now. Right. Officers finally able to mourn the loss of one of their own. Two Buffalo police officers just drove down here to Broderick Park within the last five minutes or so and lit this blue candle. Uh, incredible to see, really. You can hear just how wow. cold it is when all of this just cracks off so easily. The mirror cover for that pickup truck, the family's couch underneath a piece of the siding in their neighbor's yard. Definitely a one way to spend your morning out here. We are on the Buffalo River out by Elevator Alley. We may? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Just like that. And then she gets head and arm control. Yeah. So uh, okay. this is what I've learned. It's all that I've learned today. Come to their season opener tomorrow. I don't know how to stop at 7 p.m. to see how they do this all. It's going to be so much fun for you guys. I'm going to keep rolling because I honestly don't know how to stop. We're live at Riverworks. Sights, sounds, and the smell. What does it smell like? Smells like pastries and sweets. Thousands of Western New Yorkers all sharing a similar shopping list. Butterland. Pussy Willows. Little pink today. Mostly candy. <laughs> Some kielbasa too. A tradition more than 125 years old, buying things for the Easter table on Good Friday. My babs and Jaja used to bring me, and then my parents brought me, so it, it's wonderful to bring, be able to continue the tradition. Vendor booths are often staffed by families. All our family gets together together and has to work together to make it happen. And the aisles filled with families too, creating memories together. It feels nice to know that I'm passing down generations worth of experience with someone I love. A truly Western New York experience. Buffalo really celebrates all everyone's Polish heritage, so it's great knowing that Buffalo appreciates everyone and where they come from. Years of history that even the youngest visitors have learned to treasure. Yeah. It's very, very special. I, do, I don't want to make the tradition bad, so I just want to like support the tradition of the Broadway market here today. The market is filled with thousands of people on Easter weekend, but remember... It's always here. It's always here to be appreciated and enjoyed. Whoever is brought through the doors of this ER is in good hands. The staff in this department works 12-hour shifts, just like these residents right here. And during that entire time, they are literally ready to go within seconds of a patient coming in. And we saw all of that firsthand. No worries. Don't be scared, you're in good hands. The good hands of the staff inside the emergency department that have been trained to work when every moment counts. Overnight we see some more critical patients in terms of accidents uh, or assault. So we'll see a lot of gunshot wounds or stabbings. Some nights we have a ton of patients, some nights it's a little bit slower. We are surrounded inside ECMC's emergency department by doctors, residents, nurses and technicians taking care of 17 patients admitted through the night. No head injury, no loss of consciousness. No. The patients were in from anything ranging from back pain because of a fall to a heroin overdose. Just seconds into our interview with Don Giordano, a clinical research nurse in charge of training, our first trauma of the night came rushing in. What's the ETA? Three minutes. It's coming up on the ramp now. The patient, a victim of assault, quickly wheeled into a trauma room. The room swarming with staff, but each person inside knows exactly what to do. One person's managing the airway. One person's, um, you know, managing IV access. Somebody's putting them on the monitor. Um, somebody's obtaining vital signs. After a quick assessment, no contusions or brain The patient is wheeled to get a CT scan to check for internal injuries, then to x-ray to check for any broken bones. And the staff, kind and reassuring each step of the way. All right, let me give you this meds, buddy. This one trauma, a model for how every patient is treated. Our goal at ECMC is to approach every trauma in the exact same way.